just for frame of reference, these are those really cool cabinets. I saved the cabinets not to save the cabinets, but to save the cabinets as a template. I will definitely be doing this, this, that. I'm not sure if I'll do sliders on that or not. Because what I do here will dictate what I do on the front cabinet. So I've got to take some time and design what I'm going to do here. That's not something I do a whole lot of. I like to just go. Uh, but this is cool enough that I don't care. I'm going to draw it out. And in the interest of the process... I need to make my measurements here because I don't want to deviate a whole lot. Excuse that camera work. So great. You're lucky to have stopped by. I want to keep those dimensions as much as I can because I think they're great. So I have marked off from back there at this height right here. So I've marked off from there all the way to here at this side of the tape. There's one thing that I kind of do. Let me change that. There we go. I just put a little arrow on there so I know which side of the tape it's on. So we're on, let me get back out here. Oopsie, there we go. All right, so there's where my 54 inch bed stops. And I like to go right up to that with the kitchen and take the kitchen all the way right up to that. So we are set right there that is set at the edge there's the edge of the bed so i need a measurement from the seating uh, to the bed and it is going to be 45 i better look at that a little better that's going to be 45 and about a quarter so that means that I, that's a Man, that's a pretty big kitchen countertop to not have a stove in it, but that's a lot of countertop. So that's cool. That is cool. And our, mm, whew, that's a lot. That is a lot. I'm going to have to check on that. So we'll do 45 by probably 20. And that's what happens when... Uh, I try to measure and film at the same time. I shut the camera off. So as I was saying, 45 and gone it. There we go. I'll probably want to come out just looking at this. I don't need to come out a whole lot, but customer wants this closet kind of a special request. It's a pretty big closet. Well, I mean, considering what we're used to working with, it's still going to be about 20. Well, no, about 19. She wants it wide enough and tall enough because remember, we've got to have our wheel well to put a porta potty in it. She gave me the dimensions, so we're going to do that. Then she wants to pull the porta potty out here. Then she wants this door to open this way for a modicum of privacy. And I don't think that's going to provide as much as she thinks it is. So we may have to figure something out for her. We'll do it. All right. So, I mean, we can come out. Well, you know, and that would solve it. We could come out a little bit further this way. But every instant you come out this way, you take away your entrance into the bed. Now, I've never met these people in person. I don't know what they look like. I don't know how tall they are. Those of you in the taller range know that getting into a bed cramped right here is not an easy thing. You're not trying to do somersaults. So, I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. So, uh, all right, we've got our measurements. Let's go over to the bench and draw something up. Here's some numbers for us. The 
kitchen counter is going to be 45 and a quarter. These numbers represent our fancy, oh, look at them dirty hands. Yeah, I'm working, man. The upper cabinet that is super cool, but it's about eight inches wider than the top. And there's nothing wrong with that, really. I like them to be a little closer together, but this is cool. I'm going to make a template and see how it looks after I build this. And it's 23 inches long, which is a good size cabinet. It's a pretty tall camper, really. All right. So if I've got 45 and a half, really the only thing that's going in it is a sink and it is going to be 15 inches on the outside measurement and we need probably two three inches right here just i don't know just to be uh have a little room for error when you're trying to run hoses and plumbing out and then we're going to have i need at least an inch lip right here so that's going to put us at about 19 18 19 so i think this measurement really needs to be 20 inches we know that this is 45 and a quarter so we're just gonna do that. Now, what we have to start keeping track of is this camper is 47 and a half inches wide. Now, we just took 20 inches out of that. So that's gonna leave us at 54 and a half. So when we go to the other side to build our closet slash potty holder, porta potty holder, we i think we decided we we're going 19 wide which doesn't matter to this that's just what it is so if we come out say this comes out oh look at that dimensional drawing i'll probably win an oscar for that or whatever youtube awards they give 20 inches that leaves us with 34 and a half inches of floor space so right there's the, the closet. Over here is the kitchen. This is 34 and a half to get into the bed. That's the minimum. I mean, to me, that's the minimum. But that means that on this closet door, it's 19. I mean, even if I leave an inch and a half, that means that we've got a, maybe at most, an 18 inch door. So 34 and a half minus 18 that's two carry that over there that's six you got 16 inches between this closet i mean not the closet but between the kitchen cabinet and the uh door that opens so you've got 16 inches of uh privacy that we have to attend to and i don't know what that means uh for me or for the customer i'm i've got some ideas i'm kicking around we'll see we'll see it'll be interesting to follow that as it goes i think those of you that are enjoying this process videos versus building videos i hope you are anyway we're going to start on this and see what kind of cabinetry because i really I'm going to save this and go to the back. The thing that I have to do here, customers really kind of giving me free reign on this. And I think if this is the bed, I'm thinking that I will probably put the sink right here and have all this room to have a prep area. And they want jerry can, so I have to make a really big opening right here for their jerry cans. Now, you know, I may do something like mimic this here with two. And I think that makes it interesting. And then there can be a shelf in here. That's gonna be my working title right there for when I go to build this and You've seen me build a ton of these, so I'm just giving you the process. And I will make my measurements for the cabinet based on my 45 and a quarter by 20. 
which means I want a lip hanging over an inch this way, an inch this way, so that makes this 43 and a quarter, and this 19. I've gotta have some room on there. There's my process. Let's see if I can stick to it. As you can see, I worked the process and then I had an issue with the process, but I had my process in place. This was gonna be there and there was gonna be this, but remember, that's where the wheel well was. And then the sink's hanging down to here. That does not give us much jerry cran, jerry cran, jerry can access. So I flopped them because I can install up here my hand pump. Man, am I getting dirty today. That's a working man. That's what you get. Anyway, I can install the hand pump in the same spot and just run the hose through there. And then I've got jerry can access for days and days. So we're all set there and I kind of separated them. No reason other than it looks better when it is. And so what will happen here is there will be small access right here with a door to that. But then this door will open up and then you can have things sitting on top of the wheel well. So you'll have, you know, more opportunities. And I may even put a shelf in there and, and make it a little bit longer. I'll just see what it looks like as I get there. But we got... Uh, the sides and the front put on. We're just waiting for the putty to dry. So now, same process over here. We've already talked about it. I've got 18 and three quarters to work with. Now you're asking yourself, is that super important? It is because 17 by 15, one way or the other, a porta potty has to fit in it. So 18 and three quarters, I gotta be careful. I don't know if I'm gonna stretch into that or skimp into that 17. I'll just have them turn it sideways. And then that way my opening can be closer to 16. Give me plenty of room on each side, you know, cause you've gotta put hinges and things. And then it'll be more than 17 deep. It'll probably be closer to 19, 20 deep. I have plenty of room. So I'll probably build it 16, well, I'm talking about the opening, but 18 and three quarters by 20 will be the outside measurement. And the openings will probably be the 20 by about 16. So that's the big closet I'm gonna build. This is moving right along. I mean, I got this done before lunch. I took a little bit of an early lunch, so that's cool. And uh, this is dry. I'm just gonna wait and start when, when that and that, which are dry and that, and then when I build that, I'll get that out and sand them all down and then hit the stain on them. Look at that interesting right there. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I, I'm really liking these. Remember, this is the second time we've done these like that. Now, after it's stained and everything, then I'll put the rail, the bed rail on there. It's looking good, it's looking good. Okay, here we go. There it is. Down here, just some little access storage over the wheel well. It's where the customer wanted the porta potty closet. And as we've been doing a lot, just found the curve of the trailer. It's real close, real close. Could stand the, well, you know. Oh, there it goes. It just has to. Great camera work. So glad you stopped by. All right. So it's in there. I was going to build the almost like wings out here. You know, the those extra storage space. But I forgot that I have to build this. Or I get to build this because I'm excited. Uh, it's been sitting out in the rain, as you can see, so um, we weren't using it for anything other than a template. I've got to decide what I'm going to do there. I am thinking about two small drawers 
uh, is what I'm thinking about instead of sliders. I just, I don't like sliders unless like on a Shasta, you just have to have them. But these cool indentions, indent, I'll measure that angle and I will do my best to recreate that. So I'm not really going to put up any numbers on this one other than to say that's what we're building.